Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will discuss about few more medical terminology prefixes that denotes the information related to body part. In previous session also, we have discussed various medical terminology prefixes that denotes the body part and other properties as well, like shape, size, color, right? So this session is in the continuation of the same. So today, like. Uh, we will start uh, in the same manner first of all i'll tell the definition uh, for the prefix because maybe some of you are directly referring the session so just for those uh, person like i'm repeating the definition for prefix so prefix is a word that is attached at the beginning of the medical terminology and from there it produces some meaning that uh, like it it produces some information and that information could be related to uh, the body part shape size color and many other thing right so that's why we have categorized all the prefixes into some area and one by one we are covering each and every category currently we are in the part 38 where we are discussing the uh, prefixes that denote the information about the body part so let's see so first of all uh, file like we will uh, see some prefixes with their meaning and then later we will discuss the examples for the same because example is very important in order to understand the meaning of the medical terminology and examples uh, if you practice various example then it would be very easy for you to easily identify the meaning of medical terminology in your interviews and examination okay so let's start with the first prefix First prefix is larynge or laryngeo which is related to the pharynx or throat. So whenever there, there are some medical terminology which is using the pharynx or pharyngeo then it means it is dealing with the pharynx or throat. Okay. For example, the first example is pharyngitis. Pharyngitis. What is pharyngitis? We know that like so far we have discussed various examples. So that's why we have some idea that whenever there is a suffix, not the prefix, suffix itis is there. It means it is related to the inflammation. So when we are talking about pharyngitis, pharynx means throat or pharynx, itis means inflammation. So you can see the definition, inflammation of the pharynx commonly known as sore throat. Okay. Likewise, if you look at the second example, which is pharyngeal, pharyngeal means relating to the pharynx. So again, we are talking about the pharynx. That's why we are using the prefix pharyngeal. Now pharyngeal is a complete medical terminology as pharynx is a prefix. In the same manner, we can discuss the third example, which is pharyngeoectomy. What is pharyngeoectomy? Surgical removal of a portion of the pharynx. Just because of some medical con uh, concern, if the uh, portion of a pharynx is removed from the body, then this thing we will denote with the help of uh, terminology pharyngectomy, which is started with the prefix pharynx. Clear? Now we will move to the fourth and last example for this prefix, which is pharyng uh, pharyngocutaneous fistula. Pharyngocutaneous fistula. Now, what is pharyngocutaneous fistula? It's a abnormal passage between the pharynx and the skin surface okay so whenever there is a abnormal passages uh, constructed between the like occur between the uh, pharynx and the skin surface then this thing we will denote with the help of medical terminology pharyngocutaneous fistula so pharyngocutaneous fistula is a complete medical terminology which is initiated with the prefix pharyngo got it now if you look at all these examples again you will find only one common thing in between them which is pharynx okay so this is how we can easily identify the meaning of terminology by looking at their prefix although medical terminology is composed of various things but if you don't know the meaning of uh, prefix then you do uh, we are not supposed to identify the meaning of terminology entire terminology okay so let's move to the next prefix which is phalab or phalabo what is phalab and phalabo when a medical terminology is using the prefix phalab or phalabo then it means it is related to vein okay for example phalabitis 
what is phalebitis phalebitis means inflammation of a vein often accompanied by pain swelling and redness so just as you must scenario where a patient is suffering from phalebitis then he will uh, suffer from the inflammation of a vein and it also accompanied by sometime by pain swelling and redness so this entire condition is defined with the help of medical terminology phalebitis which is started with the prefix phaleb then we have phalebogram now what is phalebogram an x-ray image of a vein often obtained after injection of a contrast medium so for the treatment purpose purpose sometime doctors uh, suggest an x-ray image of a vein uh, which is obtained with the help of in, uh, injection of a contrast medium then this entire process is defined with the terminology phalebogram fine then we have phalebography it is somewhere related to the second example itself the process of taking x-ray images of veins after injecting a contrast medium so you can see first one is phalebogram and same process if it is repeated then we can uh, say it is a phalebography likewise we have another example which is phaleboplasty now what is phaleboplasty phaleboplasty means surgical repair or reconstruction of a vein just because of any medical concern if the uh, if there if a vein is reconstructed or repaired then this thing we will denote with the help of terminology phaleboplasty got it now if you focus on all these example again you will find only one common thing in between them which is vein everywhere we are talking about the vein and that's what the reason we are using either phaleb or phalebo prefix okay so so far we have discussed two prefixes with their respective examples first one was phalengo which is related to pharynx or throat second we discussed phaleb or phalebo which is related to vein in the same manner we will discuss another prefix which is pharen pharenai pharenno or pharenico so these are the alternative names for or alternative prefix for diaphragm so if the any of the medical terminology is using the prefix pharenai pharenno pharenico then it means it is related to diaphragm for example first example is pharenno esophageal ligament pharenno esophageal ligament means a ligament connecting to the diaphragm uh, connecting diaphragm to the esophagus so this thing we will denote with the help of medical terminology pharyngo esophagus ligament so pharyngo esophageal ligament is the complete terminology which is initiated initiated with the prefix pharyngo then we have pharyngo uh, cardial ligament pharyngo uh, pharyngo uh, pericardial ligament means a ligament connecting the diaphragm to the pericardium so in the above example we are talking about the uh, ligament which connecting the diaphragm to esophagus and in second example we are talking about the ligament connecting the diaphragm to the pericardium likewise if you look at the uh, third example which is ferry uh, ferring ferinico abdominal artery which means an artery supplying blood both to the diaphragm and the abdomen abdomen so this thing we will denote with the help of terminology pharynco uh, abdominal artery similarly if you look at the fourth example which is pharynco colic ligament which means a ligament connecting the diaphragm to the colon okay so if you look at all these examples again then you will find only one common thing in between them which is diaphragm somewhere we are talking about the ligament that can connect the diaphragm to esophagus some example in some example we are talking about the uh, ligament that connect the diaphragm to pericardium somewhere we are talking about the artery uh, that supply the blood to th both the diaphragm and abdomen and in the fourth example we are talking about the ligament connecting the diaphragm to the colon so that's the reason we are using prefix either pharenai pharenno pharenico okay so yeah these are the prefixes which i would like to share with you all in this session i hope it is clear to all of you and for today we have only one question like what information is provided by the prefix auto and phalanx
if you know the answer then please share your knowledge in the comment section but if you have any doubt in this session then please uh, refer the previous session where there we have already discussed these topic in detail so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share with